uh, final action to be taken by the Lyons County Board of Commissioners on, on this case will be Tuesday, March 22nd, the agenda item number three, REZ 2013-04. Will staff please present this request? Yes, sir. This particular request is object by the applicant to change the zoning on the property from highway commercial with conditions. And there are two conditions detailed in your packet, but ultimately one of those really restricts the use to just that of a used car lot. Very restricted. And he is asking to be removed from those conditions and has modified his request to go to highway commercial zone. Um, that is the update since the work session, is he has officially done that um, with his application and also through this letter of intent that you now have in your packet that was sitting in front of you tonight. I did receive that from Mr. Thompson this afternoon and tried to uh, get that to you all for your consideration. But that is the major update with this case is the change in zoning from general commercial to highway commercial. Um, I will tell you that I believe the applicant uh, started with general commercial because staff recommended general commercial. And then we learned that the property to the very south, this one here on the corner of Oak and Bemis, had a similar commercial zoning with conditions we assumed it was with very restrictive conditions such as this one, and the conditions only apply to buffering and parking and do not apply to use. We informed the applicant of that update and said, did you want to reconsider general commercial? And he said, yes. We were able to get all of our homework done as far as advertising to make sure that change could move forward tonight, and we've done that. Um, but that is the, the biggest update that I can give the Planning Commission at this time is that officially with that letter of intent, that application, did change that to try to bring that up with you. Um, the TRC looked at this request last Tuesday, as written in your packet, and did split on it. Um, but ultimately, the recommendation was for approval. And now we believe it's ready for your consideration tonight. The applicant is here in case you have questions about the situation. But ultimately, we tried to get this packet ready to move forward. That was important to the applicant. So we will be ready to do so. All right, are there any questions of staff on the commissioners? Highway was 2003. It was in 2003 is when they restricted that to a conditional highway commercial use. Oh, the, yes, sir. The subject property was 2003 07. The property to the south that was zoned highway commercial without the conditions was 2003 17. So one was done in um, one was done in March and the other one was done in May. So the more restrictive one was done in March and then the uh, the other one followed in May. Less restrictions. <coughs> All right. Are there any other questions of the staff or the commissioners? Okay. Yes, ma'am. It was it was just it was just me um, as far as the split vote against it, and I believe that CH zoning allows for uses that are too intense, and I think CG would be a better fit with the residences that touch the property. I've tried to detail those uses out because I think some of those could locate here. I mean, it's a high traffic uh, area, so I thought some of the uses would be too intense, and I thought CG would be a better fit. Jason, what was the reason for that? Um, I, I think he can probably address that in a few minutes, but I think at the end of the day, CH is, is more marketable. There are more uses he could market to with this location than if he did CG. Thanks. A quick question. I, I know this uh, additional conditions right here says the front portion be used for a used car lot for 175 feet. And then condition number two is existing peak in or compensation service at buffer. This, that was a force with the CG, is that correct? If it goes to CH, is that done away with, or is that, that buffer not going to be in place anymore? We normally, um, if the condition is not carried over, that goes away. I mean, 175 or so foot buffer, that's a really <coughs> very large buffer. Um, if the commission rezones it to any commercial where it touches that residential zoning, 
they'll have to have anywhere from a 15 foot to a 40 foot buffer depending on the use. The more intense the use, the larger the buffer. So the condition, if, unless you put some condition on there about the buffer, that goes away and it defaults to our requirements, which are anywhere from 15 to 40 feet. 